In this video, I'm going to show you how to return the unique values across multiple columns in Google Sheets. To do that, we are going to be using the unique function. So I'll show you three different ways to use this function. Um, the first way, we'll just be using it on one column to return the unique values and remove duplicates. The second way, what we're going to do is use it across multiple columns to return the unique rows. And then the last way that I'll show is to use it across multiple columns to return the unique values from each cell. So each way is a little bit different. Um, the unique function is pretty simple to use. The basic syntax is just unique and then the range of cells that you want to use it on. You can also add additional ranges if you want. Um, so just to show you what it does, I will do it on this single column. So you can see that this basically just removed the duplicates and returned the unique values from this range I entered here. Um, so the next way that I'm going to show is using it across multiple columns. So similar to the first way I just showed, but now I'm putting an actual range in with uh, multiple columns. So what this does is it returns the unique rows. So some of these rows are um, exact duplicates. Um, so there, some of them are repeated, which means they get removed from what is returned here. Um, so that is the other way to use it. It's really an easy uh, function to use. So the next way I'm going to show is if you don't want to return the entire row, like in the previous example, and you just want to return the unique values from each column or from each cell, what you need to do is use it with the flatten function. So what the flatten function will do is it will take a range and enter it into one column. Um, so the only argument in this function is the range of data that you want to use. And you can also use this with more than one range. So I'll just show you what flatten looks like by itself. So you can see, I just did flatten here, and what it did is it took my three columns here and returned it in one column. So what we want to end up doing is doing a unique on one column here. So this is the syntax you will be doing. You're going to be doing a unique and then a flatten so that it puts my range into one column and then it runs unique on that one column. So you can see what this did is it took my entire range and just returned the unique values as opposed to the previous method where it returned the whole row. Um, if you want to do unique across multiple rows like this, you need to use it with the flatten function. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.